Jeff, uh, another question in from the folks that are watching, uh, and I'll ask you too, came in. Um, rotaries or coil machines, uh, and why? Which which do you prefer, uh, and for what reasons? Uh, and you know, I was so against rotaries, and I, I just I have so many coil machines and friends that build them that I just had a resistance to it, uh, and I'd never tried them before. Um, and uh, sorry, my cat is just going crazy. That's right. Your cat's um, very photogenic. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, I was I was resistant to it, and I I had been given rotaries and that I wouldn't even try, and I would give them away. Um, and then I I was kind of cornered by um, Conrad and uh, uh, the guys at Cheyenne to try their Thunder um, last year, and I tried it super resentfully. I didn't want to do it and I, I liked it and then I took it home and I've used it ever since. Um, I have no real perspective on it because I haven't used a bunch of other rotaries. So I know a lot of guys, you know, Joe Capobianco was out just day before yesterday and he was talking about a bunch of different rotaries that all work great. Um, I just don't feel like I'm much of an authority on it because I was so resistant. I haven't tried any um, I use the Thunder every single day now for everything, and it's fast and smooth, and I love it. It is the most amazing machine ever, um, but I can't say much about the other ones because I haven't tried them. And as far as coils, you know, when I went to Japan three weeks ago, Shige said, don't bring that, that rotary, just bring the coils only. I don't know what his reason was, but... Um, I was a little nervous because I hadn't used coils for you know about four or five months, and I got there and uh, they worked great. <laughs> I mean, I got all my work done, and they, there was it was not uncomfortable. It was a little bit more to you know switch out machines and versus just switching out cartridges. Um, so, but it, it's not. I mean, they work. You know, I think a good tattooer, and not to say it like that, but if you know what you're doing. You can do the job with just about anything. Um, as far as on my day day to day now, I'm using that Cheyenne Thunder on everything, and I'm in love with it. <laughs> That's great. Um, you probably just sold about a hundred of those. <laughs> <laughs> okay, man. How about you? Are you a coil man or are you a rotary man? Um, I actually uh, Chris Dingwell turned me on to uh, rotaries uh, two years ago, and it, I don't have any problems with my hands, thank God. But I. The lady who taught me how to tattoo has carpal tunnel in both her hands. So I'm very, um, having somebody so close to me that's suffering from that, I'm very aware of how over time uh, you can have a lot of problems from tattooing. And I know there are coil machines that um, they have lighter weights, but I find that the rotaries are just super, super light. And um, that's, I've pretty much completely switched over to those. I still have my coil machines. I had a little bit of um, adjustment to deal with as far as lining with the rotaries, um, but I've been able to work that out. And, um, you know, right now it's, it's pretty much rotaries all the time. Uh, and, but mainly for that reason, and I agree with Jeff, that I, I can still tattoo with my, my coils. I just want to get more longevity out of my hands uh, seeing as though I've been tattooing for a while and I'm, I feel like I'm just starting to really push myself to be a better artist and uh, so I want to have that uh, I want to have that longevity so sure. yeah rotaries is, is what guys, I like right now. Do you guys think that uh, do you think uh, a new artist should spend the time to learn both? Uh, do, you, do you think it's important? I mean even as far as respecting tradition uh, with coil machines do you think it's, do you think it's important to, to learn how to use both? I do, yeah. I mean, I think that you should learn how to make needles. I think you should know what stencils, how they used to be made. I think you should be able to draw on the skin. I think you should be versatile. Um, and I think that, yeah, coil machines are such a huge part of, you know, tattoo history and tattoo culture that you should know. I, th I know I know of people that are so young in in. Uh, the tattoo world that they've only used rotaries. They've never even picked up a coil machine. They've never made a needle. And uh, that's something that I guess I would see as a, a loss in their experience as a tattooer. It's not something that, you know, I guess it's like, I, I don't know. I don't want to make any correlations, but 
yeah, I think that it would be good to be versatile and, and well-versed in all the different tools that are available. But in the end, I'm not as one, you know, single-minded like I was, uh, and I'm open to using the best tool possible for the job. You know, That's really what it comes down to. You want to do a good tattoo, use the best tool you can. So, uh, I'm Ben from Triple Six Studios. Let me show you my ego. Over the years I've been tattooing, I've started developing wrist problems and I've noticed a lot of artists have developed a similar problem. With the Ego, the idea was to design a light, affordable machine. So here it is, the Ego. The Ego uses our patented power triangle system. It simulates front and back spring. You have six different grades of rubber, from hard to soft, hard to soft, simulating front and back spring. RCA jack, nice and convenient, nice stable connection. Vice. A little bit of pressure, nice super secure lock. This is the Ego Bio Grip, this is our new grip. It's super comfortable, it's made of super soft silicon. It has a part at the back to help relieve wrist strain and a part at the front to help relieve vibration on the front finger. Tattooists love the feel of a coil machine. There's a lot of rotaries don't behave like a coil. With the Ego, we've simulated the front and the back spring of a coil machine. So you get the best of both worlds. Some of the advantages of using the Ego is you've got extremely extremely lightweight machine which is very movable in your hands you, you, you're not restricted it's more like a pen it's like uh, tattooing with a marker and that's the, the whole idea of the shape of the ego and get the center of balance over the top of the tube and away from the back of your hand so that enables you to have a bit more freedom and a bit more of a marker like experience when you're tattooing with that it gives you the ability to tattoo for longer and have a little bit more control over your tattooing process because your wrists aren't getting tired and the weight of the machine is, is nicely balanced. So I've given the Egos a go and the speed is just amazing. Uh, you know, it's just like using the coil. It really is. You know, for the speed and the quality work I can put out. Um, I'm, I'm very, very happy with them. I have many Egos from Bears. Um, probably about six now and I'm very happy with them all. So much time and effort went into making the Ego. I'm happy where it's at and so are a lot of other artists. It's definitely taken off.